Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're having a great day today. For this week's video, what we're gonna do is take our ultra cheap $200 tube amp and replace all the tubes and see if that makes a big difference in tone. So the amp that we're using for today's comparison is the Monoprice Stage Right 15 watt tube amp. Uh, it's a combo amp with a 12 inch Celestion speaker. Sounds really good. Now the amp itself comes out of China and came with unbranded tubes, two EL84s and three AX7s. So I thought it would be a really interesting tone comparison if we took some name brand tubes, really popular ones, put them in the amp and see if it makes a difference to the tone. All right, so let's talk about tubes for a second. Now, if you guys wanna skip ahead to the audio comparison, feel free to do that. I'll put the times in the video description below. But other than that, let's look at the tubes that we're gonna be using. Now to replace the unbranded Chinese tubes, we've got some tongue saws made in Mother Russia. These are 12 AX7s, and we've got a trio of them to replace the preamp tubes. Now the tongue saws are a really popular preamp tube. Tons of people use them and they're kind of like a go-to tube. So I thought this would be a great one to use in our comparison. Now as for our power amp tubes, we've got a matched set of JJEL84s. Again, a really popular choice. Tons of people love the way these sound. So that's what we're gonna use. All right, so here's a closer look at the two tubes. So these are both 12 AX7 tubes. The one with the pen pointed at it is the tongue saw. So this is the new tube we're putting in versus the other one is the Chinese unbranded tube. So, you know, upon closer look, you can definitely see the construction is very different. So we'll see if that makes a difference in sound, but I just wanted to show you guys a close up of the tubes. Okay, and here's a close-up look at the power tubes. These are the EL84s. Now the pen is pointed at the JJ tubes one. So this is the new one that we're gonna use. And the other one is the unbranded Chinese one. And again, upon just like casual inspection, you can definitely see some differences in construction. Now changing tubes is a really easy process and doesn't require any special handling. You can use these without gloves. These are not halogen bulbs. Uh, using them with your hands will not wreck the tubes at all. And they only fit in the sockets one way. I'll show you guys how to install them. It's very easy. Let's check it out. All right, let's check out the inside of the amp. So we have our power amp section here and then the three preamp tubes. Now this is the V1 spot or the valve one spot. This is a really important tube because it's the first gain stage. So you can try swapping different tubes in and out of this V1 spot and it's gonna make an interesting difference. So lots of people just replace this one tube. So we're actually gonna do an audio comparison where we do the stock tubes versus just changing this V1 spot to see if that makes a difference because it's a lot cheaper just to swap a, a, you know, a different or an interesting tube in that spot instead of replacing them all. So we're gonna do an audio comparison of that. So that should be really interesting. There we go, we got the, the retainer. And then on the power amp section, these should be matched tubes, okay? So in the preamp section, you can actually mix and match them uh, however you want, just to do some comparisons. And you can really go down you know, the rabbit hole searching for tones, so there we go. Okay, perfect. So that's all there is to you know, changing your tubes, just popping them out of the slot, putting them back in, and you're off to the races. Now there's really only a few factories that still make tubes. And even though there's like 20 or 30 different brands of tubes, they all come from really three main factories, one in China, one in Russia, and one in Slovakia. So all the JJ tube stuff are exclusive to Slovakia. Um, and the Russian factory and the Chinese factory really make all the rest of the brands. So even though in your Fender amp, your tubes might say Fender on them, Fender doesn't have a tube amp facility. They buy them from China or Russia. Okay, and that's the same for all the brands. In my Mesa Boogie here, my Blue Angel, um, they're all branded Mesa Boogie, but they don't have their own tube factory. They buy them from China or Russia and then just rebrand them. Same with Groove Tubes, uh, Electro Harmonics, tons of different brands um, don't actually have their own tube factories. They just buy from the big factories. So that's the first thing to note. So the Chinese unbranded tubes uh, in my little tube amp here, the Monoprice, uh, could actually be really good tubes. They just aren't branded for some reason. But because tubes only come from, you know, they're not Slovakian, otherwise they'd be JJ. So probably one of two places and most likely China. So, you know, your Fender might have the exact same tubes as this one or your Marshall or whatever. Um, so there you go. Interesting stuff about tubes. All right, it's time to launch into our audio comparison. First clip is gonna to be totally clean. We're gonna be using the Baja Telecaster in the neck pickup with a really simple uh, picking pattern because we wanna keep things simple so that our ears can hear the differences. So use headphones if you don't have, you know, good studio monitors or anything. Uh, that's the best way uh, to hear these kind of like 
more detailed audio comparisons. No verb, no processing, no double tracking, no panning, nothing. Straight raw clips. I'm gonna be recording to my computer and then reamping it so that every single clip is the same audio clip, okay? So the same root file uh, will be the same. All I'm gonna do is switch out the tubes in between. I'm gonna give them five minutes each to warm up. Here we go. We're gonna start with a blind test. See if you guys can tell the difference between the stock tubes and our aftermarket JJ and tongue saws. All right, so here are the results for the first arpeggio picking. Clip number one was brand new tubes, and clip number two were the stock Chinese tubes. So definitely a bit a difference in volume. Um, and you know, more bottom end, more top end, maybe slightly smoother. Uh, so yeah, definitely made a difference. Now it's not, you know, night and day. And I think, uh, you know, listening to the stock tones, this amp sounds great. Like you can get really nice tones out of it, but definitely noticed a difference when we swapped all the tubes. All right, so let's add some gain. Now here's where I think we might actually notice some bigger differences. Not sure, but we'll find out. So we'll do a blind test first and then listen to the other clips like we did before. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, so let's reveal the blind test. The guitar I was using was the Thinline Tele uh, back there with Filtertron pickup in the bridge setting. So clip number one was stock tubes. Clip number two was the aftermarket tubes. I think you could definitely hear a smoothening and a higher gain. So sometimes EL84 amps have a tendency to really be buzzy when you get to higher gain. And you could hear a little bit of that with the stock uh, tubes. And when we put in our aftermarket tubes, definitely gave us some more power again, more gain and kind of smooth some of the buzziness out. So really interesting. And lastly, let's crank the gain all the way up. Now this is not a high gain amp, but you can get some actually really good sounds out of it. So anyway, we'll do a short riff again. Let's do our blind test first. Here we go. <laughs> All right, the results for our blind test were stock tubes and then aftermarket tubes. I think by now you guys can hear the difference. Uh, definitely a thickening of the sound, more gain, more volume, uh, and sounds really good. So the guitar we were using was the Aurora behind me there. Uh, it's got a Seymour Duncan distortion in the back, so a really high output pickup. So that helped drive some of that gain as well. All right, so now that we've heard the differences between all the tubes changed, let's try to drill down a little bit and find out which tubes are actually making the difference because, you know, that could save us all some money. So what we're gonna do is play that same stock clip versus just one tube in the V1 slot, okay? So one tongue saw uh, preamp tube, that's it. That's gonna be the only difference, just that one tube. And then we're gonna follow it up by the stock clip again, and then just the power tubes. So all the stock Chinese uh, preamp tubes, because those like almost never wear out, they last like decades. Um, so anyway, so then we'll have that and just change the power amp tubes. Okay, so let's listen to those clips. Thank you. 
So at the end of the day, is it worth it to put all that money into an amp like this? A cheap $200 amp, should we put another 100, 120 bucks into it? Uh, I don't think so. You know, if it's a backup amp, if it's a you know bedroom amp, just enjoy it. The tones are absolutely awesome out of it. You can get you know such a varied amount of tones, and all of them sound relatively good. So it's a good little amp. Um, it was fun modding it. I learned some stuff about tubes. Hopefully, you guys found it helpful as well. So it was an interesting experiment to do. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's worth it. Now, if a person did want to smooth out some of the buzziness that can really plague amps like this, uh, as you turn up the gain, uh, you have to really kind of EQ it properly to try to minimize some of that really harsh buzziness. So just replacing the one tube in the V1 slot, I thought made a difference. I thought it tamed some of the highs and smoothed out some of the buzz. So, you know, for 20 bucks, that might actually be worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit up the t-shirt store or the tab store. That's the reason I can do comparisons like this because you guys support the channel. So thanks so much for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.